Algebra 2 Cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Trigonometric Function Basics, Unit Circle, Concept Number 4, Quadrantal Angles, 90 Degrees. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 Master. What we're doing here is so effective. I'm coaching you to turn your wants and desires of getting an A or perfect test scores into a new paradigm. I want to include everyone who needs a boost in Algebra 2. If I could stick every math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I probably would. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. You have lots of peers, classmates, and or colleagues who could really benefit from this cram session as well. So I want you to tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that they too can order this complete cram session. And you'll want for them to have this knowledge because they'll make great study buddies. And last, the concept of cramming often has a negative connotation. But what people are actually thinking of is hurrying, which is a result of their and is consequently destructive. We're not hurrying, we're cramming, there's a difference. Hurrying is jam-packing tons of unorganized information into your mental, spiritual DNA over a tiny amount of elapsed time, whereas cramming is basically taking quantum leaps in your understanding in what seems like an instant. So let's delve into the concept of the unit circle and the quadrantal angle 90 degrees. Trigonometric values for the quadrantal angle 90 degrees. What are the exact sine, cosine, and tangent um, values for the quadrantal angle 90 degrees? Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. While you're working out your solution, or solutions rather, um, as a reminder, a quadrantal angle is an angle with its terminal side on the x or y axis, such as 0 degrees, you could say here 360 degrees as well, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, etc. So I'll give you a little bit more time to think. All right, so in cram session two of this series, we um, established that the unit circle has a radius with a measurement of one in all directions. Okay, so whether here, here, and you see here, this is an aside, that this is an acute angle in um, standard position, standard position being defined by the fact that the angle has its vertex at the origin, the initial side ray on the x-axis and the terminal side ray within quadrant one between the bounds of the quadrantal angles zero degrees and 90 degrees. Okay, that's just an aside for those of you who need to know what an angle in standard position is. And due to the fact that um, the radius of a unit circle has a measurement of one unit, this definitely simplifies finding trigonometric values. First, because let's say that you have this point P and um, its coordinates are X and Y obviously, and P is the point of intersection of the unit circle and the terminal side of the angle theta, of this angle theta in standard position. Then what I want you to know is that the cosine of theta is equivalent to x and the um, the sine of theta is going to be equivalent to the y coordinate okay and why is this well this terminal side ray of this angle theta can be resolved into its x and y components like so and what you end up with is the formation of a right triangle okay so the um, x coordinate and then here you have your y okay 
Well, if this were a regular triangle and uh, we were determining the cosine of theta, the cosine of theta would just be the adjacent side, okay? So we're going to write that. This side is the cosine uh, with respect to the angle of theta. Um, should I write theta? I guess there's a little bit of a lag. Okay, and then we're going to have that um, this sign with respect to theta is just going to be this side here, the side opposite of theta. This is if we were just dealing with a triangle that's not inscribed in a Cartesian coordinate plane, okay? But when we're dealing with an angle in a Cartesian coordinate plane, a right triangle, we get that the sine of the angle theta is equivalent to the y coordinate divided by the terminal side ray, or the hypotenuse, which we're going to call r. So this is our r here, okay? And we also get that the cosine with respect to the angle theta written in a Cartesian coordinate plane is going to be equivalent to the x coordinate divided by r, or the hypotenuse, or the terminal side ray, which in our case is 1. Well, because um, r in this instance is 1, we can just eliminate the r, because when so a number is divided by 1, it's implicitly understood. You don't have to represent that as a fraction. Therefore, we end up with um, the cosine of theta being equivalent to x, or the x-coordinate, and the sine of theta being equivalent to the y-coordinate, OK? And this is really awesome. Because what it means is that the points where the unit circle intersects the x or y axes can be conveniently used to find the, trig the exact trigonometric values of quadrantal angles. So let me demonstrate to you exactly what I'm talking about. Well, for the quadrantal angle, um, the radius of the unit circle, for the quadrantal angle, 90 degrees, if theta were to go all the way back here, um, the coordinate where it, point where it intersects with the unit circle is going to be an x value of 0 and a y value of 1. Well, we know that the x value is going to be the cosine of theta or the cosine of 90 degrees. Therefore, we can start to determine the exact values that we're asked for in our question set. So the cosine is going to be equivalent to 0, the sine obviously 1, and since the tangent of this angle theta or any angle is the quotient derivative of the sine divided by the cosine, well, this is obviously going to be undefined because whenever you have a fraction with a 0 in the denominator, that fraction is undefined, okay? So these are our answers. And as you can see, intellectual comprehension of this material was not difficult at all. And after the short amount of time it takes to complete this entire cram session, you'll be able to answer, answer not answer, answer a battery of questions about Algebra 2 concepts. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. Thanks for tuning in.